Hello, I'm Lucy Scott, student number 771475433 and in this vlog I've been asked to narrate the report and critical analysis of the Marketing Approach to Games Workshop PLC which was part of the overall assessment for the Contemporary Marketing module. The report written was supported by a four page environmental audit and I'll run through both now. There are three main sections to the report. First of all, there's a situational micro and macro analysis critically analysing through a theoretical lens, then there are the conclusions and recommendations, and as aforementioned, the environmental audit at the appendix. In the micro-analysis, we'll first analyse Games Workshop through the marketing mix. The marketing mix was first noted by Borden in 1964, when he talked about marketing as an art, and the marketing manager as a head chef, mixing his ingredients in order to advance the short and long-term goals and interests of his firm. Although the original four P's, price, product, place and promotion, which were first proposed by McCarthy in 1960, still hold value, for the purposes of the report, I looked at the updated five C's of marketing, those being company, customers, collaborators, competitors, and the climate in which the company acts. To look at the microenvironment of the company, I undertook a SWOT analysis, both within the report and the appendix. There are elements of this which can be seen as both simultaneous strengths and weaknesses for Games Workshop. However, a SWOT analysis will only highlight single elements in order to enhance strategic planning. It does not illustrate how competitive advantage will be achieved and or maintained. Customers are the most important actors in a company's micro-environment. We want to engage target customers and create strong relationships with them, says Kotler et al. in 2017. The retail arm of Games Workshop has its own trade stores and chooses affiliate retailers carefully so that customers are shown how to collect, paint and build armies to compete. This is matched by an online arm which demonstrates the above virtually by online tutorials. Porter's Five Forces has been used to look at the competitive intensity of the immediate market in which Games Workshop operates. In conclusion, this is very low. Customers are loyal to the fantasy world to which they subscribe and therefore the established brand's worlds, for example Warhammer, that Games Workshop have created means that the threat of substitutes is negligible the in-house design, production and sales model employed by Games Workshop ensures that supplier power is minimised and the main threat comes only from the rise of video gaming as a competitor in the fantasy world gaming market. A pestle macro analysis has been undertaken both within the report and the appendix. The two somewhat conflicting strands that emerged that are worth highlighting for the purpose of this report are the stability of the market in which Games Workshop operates and the changing consumer attitude and buying behaviour towards the online gaming industry and mobile technologies as a channel within the fantasy world sphere. In conclusion, when we say marketing at the Games Workshop, we mean informing, engaging and inspiring our global community, said the chairman in his statement in 2018. Reviewing his vision to design, manufacture and sell models and games for our existing hobbyists and customers and to recruit and retain new customers excited by our Warhammer worlds, there is a clear product in the models, promotion, existing hobbyists and new recruits, and place, Warhammer worlds, condensed into the statement of intent. To consolidate this vision, the Games Workshop strategic reports for both 2016-17 and 17-18 show that there has been recognition of the increased importance of marketing diversification, including recent significant investment in contemporary marketing teams who will develop and maintain a social media presence. Recommendations drawn out in the report. There's the potential to grow online sales through the deploy deployment of the correct elements of the marketing mix. But more than this, with the rise of technology and the te technological arm of gaming, Games Workshop have the ability and resource with the improved marketing function to draw out further benefit through expanding social media platforms, licensing IP of the, their fantasy worlds, and allowing for online tabletop crossover, meaning the potential for future profit increases further. With the online arm accounting for 21% of sales, we want to grow this to a third. Recommendation number one is to increase traffic to the online store. Further development in the online store will not only benefit sales, but it will allow people to engage in new ways. Recommendation two, further support online development with an app concurrent to gameplay. App development is more achievable than full video game production and can be achieved through licensing a smaller portion of the IP than full world development. To keep to traditional sales and marketing routes, recommendations three and four look at introducing a loyalty card and lowering the entry price in order to support existing traditionalists and uncover a new seam of players. In doing all this, Games Workshop must remain alert to the business risks of IP licensing and maintaining increased growth by proportionate investment in research and development and a continued focus on manufacturing capacity.